Hi there, I'm Anita Painter, Remax Truck Realty. And I'm Nicole Ram in beautiful Campbell River. Today we're going to talk a little bit about fear in the marketplace. And of course, we've all heard that fear is just false emotions appearing real. And I think we're really seeing that in today's market. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of concern out there right now about um, changing in price, available inventory interest rates absolutely like what it's costing for everybody to purchase now you know some people who were looking in the spring were like oh we'll wait to the fall so that we can see the inventory in the fall market and now they're priced out of the market because they can't afford their average monthly payment exactly so even though we've seen a bit of a decline in some of the house values we're seeing your monthly payment more than it would have been if you'd purchased six months ago because of that increase in, in your rates. Exactly. So Nicole works with a lot of our buyers and I know a lot of buyers out there right now are having a lot of fear. Oh, definitely. I think a lot of buyers are really hesitant to get into the market because they're concerned that if they buy now, they could lose value in their home in the next couple of months. Of course. And of course, we all don't have a crystal ball and know what's going to be happening in the future. But one thing we do know for sure is historically real estate always will go up in the long run. And also if they're renting, they need a place to live. Totally. I think it's so important to look at the big picture and really your own specific numbers because nine times out of 10, it makes sense to buy. And if you're looking at getting in the market, it usually makes sense to buy now. Absolutely. Like if we look at somebody who's, you know, some of the crazy numbers in our market, I mean, I know, it can be anywhere from $1,600 to $2,000 that people are paying rent, but some people are paying as high as like $4,300 a month rent, which is close to like $50,000 a year, and they're never going to get anything of that back. Oh, well, exactly. I saw something recently, you know, comparing the, the increase in interest rates right now. So sure, you're paying, let's say, 5% interest uh, on a mortgage loan, but when you're renting, you're paying 100% interest and it's never coming back to you. Exactly, that's a really good point. Anita, I know that sellers have, you know, their own concerns. What are some of the things that you're hearing about when people are looking at listing their homes? Well, I think uh, one of the big things for, for sellers right now is to know that time has changed. Right? Like we, we are not in the market that we were in 2021 and where things were hitting the market, we'd have, you know, six to 20 showings within 24 hours or bully offers. This is going 60,000 over this one went a hundred thousand dollars over. It was just like such a fast pace to keep up for what was things were selling. Um, and we were realistically going at like 140 miles an hour, nonstop. And now we're just cruising the highway at the normal speed limit. And I think that's hard for people to adjust to, but I think the bottom line remains is it's nice to be in a balanced market again, where there is inventory for the buyers to look at and that the sellers, you know, yeah, it does take a little bit longer to sell, but things are still selling like five out of 10 things are selling right now. So if you're priced right and you're wanting to sell, it's still a great time to sell. Yeah, and I think that's a really good point because even though those days on market are longer, the properties that have gone through the work to really present themselves well in the market and are priced correctly are still very appealing yeah. and still selling within a very short number of days. Just this week, we've seen two go with the first day it's been listed. Yeah, and we've seen multiple offers again, Yeah, which is an interesting thing too. So, you know, I think it's, uh, it's all of what your expectations are. But regardless, unless you bought in 2021, it's not a great time to sell because obviously exactly we're at a lower point. But I mean, if you bought anywhere from four to 20 years ago, it's a fantastic time. Absolutely. If you've got questions about the real estate market, we'd love to chat with you a little bit further. Don't live in fear. <laughs> <laughs>